morning everyone. Uh, what we at? Nearly eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock. Another grey day, no blue skies, quite misty. Uh, but it feels quite muggy, quite warm. I think it's due to warm up today, about 19 degrees, 17 to 19 degrees. We've got, obviously the Volvo's already in, the V50, and I've started stripping it down. We've got the centre console out, ready to figure out the chop and the extension and amp bypass, fit the Pioneer camera. So quite a busy day with that one. Uh, but first we've got a Porsche, in, an older style, which I need to fix a fascia kit, do a Pioneer unit, all of that good stuff. Now the only thing that's a little bit weird is um, I haven't got the leads yet. Now they were sent pre-bank holiday so I'm hoping DPD have not messed anything up and they are coming because if it's a fibre optic system I can't activate anything without that lead. Um, so let's hope that they are correctly on the way otherwise we're screwed on the Porsche. But get some breakfast first. Um, obviously, go and get a uh, a coffee and something. Maybe a bacon roll. And off to work. Obviously, the super chat, as you can see from my little chat earlier yesterday, was on. Um, and Nige, fair play to him. Straight away, a deposit of a fiver. Thank you very much, mate. It's really, really kind. Um, I love that kind of stuff. Supporting from my subscribers. Uh, it's just awesome. It's really, really cool. And I'm not saying it like, you know, everyone give me money, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, that's a nice thing. But you don't, you don't have to. But it's just nice to be appreciated. Um, even little amounts is just, it's amazing. Thank you very much. Um, I haven't heard back from Mercedes regarding the parts for this yet, have we? I might have to give James a little message, just remind him and ask him where the stuff is. We need to get the boost pipe fixed. Uh, the headlight covers need to be replaced. And I might, I have noticed a few times the gear change has been a bit jumpy. Um, with some automatics, they're, I, it's not, it's kind of like a torque converter but it, it's based on fluid and obviously if you have low or old fluid the gear changes once you go into gear can become a bit jumpy so rather than a smooth gradual acceleration obviously it changing gear kind of seamlessly you get like a bit of a jump or a little bit of a bolt that that says either the fluid's low or it's worn out it needs changing um, and this is a vehicle that's very um, fluid dependent levels and condition as they get older they start to feel a bit more sh so we may need to get that booked in as well get that done last time i looked at the subscribers we were at 2133 so another increase again which is fantastic guys keep it going well done and again, if you're new, get your name down, come say hello. <clears throat> you don't need to you don't need to hit the thanks button, but if you want to, hey, it's all good. It's all good. Much love. Anyway, off to work. Uh, it is a snap on Tuesday today. Uh, we're expecting Jody at some point, and maybe flyer and maybe tools. Um, and officially, we've had some odds and sods with short videos and extras and things like like certain stuff here and there. Um, but I actually count the when I'm when I'm editing the videos I give every one of them a number so that we just know where we are from time to time um, and this is officially the 500th video of counting I say we've got a few extras with you know the shorts and little snippets of shows and stuff like that but officially this is the 500th video I've uploaded on the counter <laughs> that's crazy absolutely crazy Nice to see the channel growing. It's really cool. But I'm going to shut up waffling. I'm going to get to work, get some breakfast. I'll see you soon, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Snap on Tuesday. 
check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Big pimping baby. <laughs> so, Volvo cracking on. Um, Porsche was booked in at nine o'clock, it's not showed up, obviously. So we're cracking on with this. Um, so for the minute, we've got reverse camera, which is just there. Running through the tailgate, down through the rubber grommet, and into here. Powered up to the reverse light. Um, we've bypassed the amplifier. I've made a, made a little concoction of a loom. So we've bypassed the amp, so we're not using this anymore. Obviously it's gonna be powered from our head unit. So we've got a five meter ISO extension, loomed up with the camera cable. That's gonna run over the seat down, all the way down to the front. Um, the only thing I will have to source at this end will be an ignition feed, but that's not too much of a worry because we've got the cigarette lighter right in the center there and that's good ignition for the, for the radio. And then we're pretty much making a frame to sit the Pioneer on, running a mic, running a DAB aerial, uh, chop the dash, find somewhere for the display so we can still see what the heaters are doing in the center console, which will be here. So I'm kind of feeling this is, um, this is gear stick and dash area. Um, so I'm kind of thinking this is handbrake, the display is probably gonna sit there. So I've basically got, oh, let's get him out. So here's our display, um, and this is solely for the heater controls more than anything. Um, but what we're left with is, we've got to be a little bit careful because right under here is a SRS system ECU, so we can't bury too far down into the dash. Um, but the idea is that we make something that sits in here, so I'm not going to mess with the cup holder. Um, I say cup holder, I tell a lie, it's more like a tray. But we've got this tray here, which basically sits in there. So if I mess up the bottom of this tray, as in cutting holes in it for my cables, obviously come when they ever want to sell the car, if we leave this alone, they can put that in and nobody's none the wiser because the bottom's not been messed with. So we'll make our um, cut on this, we'll make our template and everything else will sit on this. And then we'll leave that alone that if they need to they can pop that in it and nobody's none the wiser that anything was happened other than obviously the dash is cut <laughs> which is probably a bit more serious but anyway that's what we're doing so display going to go there so she can still see it uh chop this chop that fit a pioneer in there run this loom to the front jobs are good come back to you in a bit it's about that time everyone we've got the head cam on Ooh, look at that blue one. That's a nice yeah, colour. That's cool. That's your one of yours. One's turned up. Oh mint, yeah, they're Those for Tony. Are, Those are turned up. Wicked. And Ah, little spanoirs. Little spanoirs. Cool. Alright. Have I got the old ones of these? Yes, these yeah, dropped them off last week. And we have a Knoo Kniff. Ribbed for his pleasure. Well, that's a bit brutal, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't opened it yet, so I haven't seen that one before. Cool. You could really shank a couple of fellas with that. <laughs> What's this one? Somebody's going to ask. Part number SEKC78ASWK. -E mm, do you know what? That. You know the plastic one that we were playing with last time where the blade was really nice and the handle was really crap? Yeah. That feels proper sturdy. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I found, I found those other ones. As long as you, as soon as you tighten them up, they were okay. Uh, okay. They just add, because they, I guess you must be able to replace the blades on them. So mm. just... Yeah, that does feel a lot. It's very, um, very alien-esque. Yes. I like that. It's yeah. cool. It doesn't it? Yeah. See these? Oh, what's that? Brushless. Brush this. Ah. Ones. Any good? Pretty good, yeah. 100, 200 newton meters. 
the other one was 140, I think it is, Wes, or something like that. Okay. I was going to ask you, actually, you know the foam trays for the yeah. snap-on guns? Yeah. What do they retail for? Because somebody's selling one close by and it's not a bad um, price. I want to say about 80 quidish. Oh, really? 80, yeah, I think so. They, were, yeah, they weren't a massive amount. Oh, okay. He's asking about 150 for it. It said yeah, they were about 120. Oh, okay, yeah, fine. Less than that, I'm pretty sure. There was, a big, there was two different sizes. There was a smaller size and a bigger size. Right. And you've got... So, new gun. So, this is more... Map. What the hell is that? Skeleton. gun. Bloody hell. Yeah. So this is more powerful than the one, one that I've got then? Yes, that's the brushless one. So you've oh. got the 761, that's the 861. Just okay. come out this Friday. Yeah. So it's just been released. Oh. So, yeah. Nice bit of torque. Yeah. Mm. That's cool. Good light as well. Yeah. That's your latest fire for you. Yeah? That's Lovely. Nice Thank you. Let's have a look through this. The is on the front. Yep. And there's a new drill too. Yeah, that's a little that's the brushes. That one's been out for a while. Got a load of spanners, which you've probably got a lot of it. They're new. I haven't had these yet. Snap on flexes. Flank drive, yeah. Got one of them, real yeah, useful. They are really useful, mm. actually, those are. Line stoppers, cooling refill kit, door hinge kit. Got one of them, they're very good. Got them, they're very good. Got them, they're very good. Got them, they're very good. Ga, ga, ga. You've got the snap-on version of that. Oh, is that a customer coming in to see me? <laughs> Let me just go and check. Yeah, yeah. I hear noise. Nope. I think we're all right. So you've got the flash charger, you've got the um the ones on wheels. Some yeah, I've got the big one. brush polish you didn't really get on with. Nope. That's a new half inch air gun, compact one. Right. Down, um, I think you showed me that, didn't you? Uh, you went no. it before? No, I haven't had that one before. So maybe the three eighth one. So that's, no, that's the back to this is air. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. So, like a nice little stubby thing. Yeah, it's right. There. Yeah. So there again, new out. Cool little gauze. That's real tiny, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, real stubby. Yeah. So. What's the torque on that? It depends on your compressor. Uh, depends on your compressor. <laughs> uh, Six hundred seventy-seven working. I think breakaway is about 1100-ish. Oh, okay. So it's pretty decent level breakaway. Um, if it says it on there or not. Yeah. 1017, there you go. So 1017 breakaway and 678 working. Mm. Um, some new Flexible rails. sockets, yeah. Oh, flexible rails. That's cool. Not uh, that you'd want to stick it to a customer's car. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, hang on a minute, sir. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Nice seat. Yeah, seats are good. Sold both of those um, little. Did you? I well, thought I you might I've do. I've got one to go out to customer today, but I've just realised I've left it on the, in the lockup, which is great. But that's me. Right. Yeah, they're coming again. Different design slightly. Yeah. So. Pull me down for those. Yeah, no problem. Cool. So. Wicked. Yeah. Two different bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice, yeah. nice little flyer. Loads nice of stuff flyer, in it. Loads of spanners. You know, yeah. chrome. Nice trim tool bits and stuff like that. Yeah. This is a good bit of kit if you. Shane, oh. Take all his money. I come for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Yeah. Now, when do you spend a lot? Sit what? That shit in there. <laughs> come on in, mate. Job, come, come over to the I'm dark side. And I'm staying out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is quite a good bit of kit. Not that you do that, but from a mechanical wise. Oh, look at that. It's like a refill and barrier tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can basically, if you wanted to change stuff without taking the fluid out, you can change it between a barrier. No, yeah, so you're you nice. Fluid, so it gives you like pressure. So if you wanted to take like a. It's nice too. Yeah, like you want to take a sensor out or something, but you didn't want to release a fluid for it. You can mm. put that on, put the turn it on, gives you pressure, and then you can just take it off and just release like a little bit of fluid. You won't lose much. Nice, and that's again, clever. Uh, yeah. Good bit of kit. Mm. So. 
at you all tanned in your fishing. I only fought two fucking fish, there was nothing else, was there? Lay fucking lay out the sun. You had a nice time though, didn't you? No, shite. He, um. Two fish for a week, that's shit. <laughs> Weeks, two fish, isn't it? Uh, they started spawning while we was out there. Oh, done my head on. <laughs> See, that's your seal again. Oh, look at that. It's a monster, isn't it? I know. What's the speed like on it? I haven't plugged the battery yet. Real accurate, you get a pin sensor for it. Yeah. <laughs> Rewind and forward or just different yeah, speeds? Speed, um, you'll have a just back, speeds, back, you'll have a back wind on it as yeah. well. Mm. So you can obviously when stop you, it coming out of pressure. When you push it obviously down it does. So you've got the down because it locks in so you won't mm. be able to do it. So. so if you do a lot of corking that thing's good for you yeah. then. You turn off the power up and down. You've got like power settings on the back. Sandman will love that with his little box build. Cool. That's the little um, bit tool, snap on one. Like the little two quarter drive ratchet with a bit on it. That's the, yeah, like the it's blue ones I've got, yeah. but not the adjustable one. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's dangerous, mate, isn't it? You spend a lot of money in here. <laughs> no, I don't need half of this. And yeah. the new, um, our new vice grips. Yeah. So these, this, so Irwin yep. have been bought by Stanley. Right. And rumours are that Stanley um, are going to be bought out for ages, isn't they? Yeah. Stanley. Irwin, uh, Stanley bought Irwin, like, but we'll, they're re apparently they're going to be starting making them cheaper. So you're so not allowed started, to have them anymore? No, we can sell them, but they've started to get a little bit loose in the jaws and stuff. Uh, okay. Like a cheaper set would be. These are Irwin, but snap on. So we bought the tooling from America. Oh, cool. And we are now making our own. They are more pricey, but look at if you look at them, they look a low better mm. than our yeah, old they're snap They're not ones. wobbling like my ones. Our I've old, got I've got Irwin yeah. ones, and they wobble there. Yeah, you've you've put a and you've, then, you've made that yes. one unit as they've yes. made that too. Yeah. So our old, to be fair, these are like get out of jail free things. Yes. Like you only really should use vice grips when you're yeah, really in this got storm. A really, loose, a really tight bolt. That's, yeah. So um. Or you're just heating some up, and you don't yeah. want to burn your hands. So, yeah. Yeah, never good. Oh, cool. So loads of new stuff. Yeah, quite a few new bits coming out and that have come out, you know. So. Uh, How much is this? Do you know I don't actually know how much it is. I haven't even looked. It came on Friday, but I went, I was um, Gotcha, like a fish. Uh, it's a nice away. knife. I was away Friday because I did a, uh, did a, uh, have you done the, uh, the old farmer sport thing? Never heard of it. Um, no, it's no. It's like a track day sort of thing. You have to drive a load of different cars. Right. Um, Is it Palmer? It used to be Audi, didn't it? Uh, not even done. I don't know. 54 quid those. Fucking Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, it's Snap-on, unfortunately. You're going to pay premium prices for Snap-on. I've got a Gerber one. Cost less than that. <laughs> <laughs> i got a Gerber as well. That's mine. Yeah, that's a kiddies. Yeah. <laughs> that was about 140 quid. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. So we got to drive those. Formula 3000s on our own. M4s mm -hmm. with someone. And obviously that's your... This is one of the clears. No, it's like a nice day. Yeah, it was a lovely day it was. So obviously that's me in there. Cool. Um, what circuit? It was in Milton Keynes, so it was just there where they, where they oh, okay. are. okay. Like an so, airfield. Yeah, so there's your Cleos. Cool. You know, mm. loads of stuff. So we won it with Snap-on doing certain stuff. Yeah, there's some hoodies, purple ones, the females. Um, so yeah, that was good fun. Cool. That's good. So yeah, it was um, Bedford. Mm. Aerodrome. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Where the Mogger Hanger is. Yeah. This guy just wandered in. Right, right everyone. Oh, let's just stop that a second. So, uh, just going to stop for some lunch. We're cracking on, doing really well. Um, obviously, snap on Tuesday. Let's show you where we're at. Um, I got the a new set of plastic cutters exchanged because I keep breaking the tooth on them. They're very good, but they are a little bit fragile, but that's okay. Um, sharp is always good. So we've got some new cutters 
and I bought to complete my set. Obviously we have the monstrous spanner set, but I've got uh, a really little one, a really, really little one, and a really, really, really little one. <laughs> it's the size of this thing. Like, look at that. People are saying that's kind of average, normal, maybe big. <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, some tiny, tiny spanners to complete the set. Gonna make a space for them now. After I've had some lunch and finished the Volvo, and we've got a snap on solder tip for town, who's gonna come up Monday. Right, food time, see you in a bit. Right everyone, let's do a little catch up. So, I've been surgical, removing my parts, making parts. So I've made a black plastic blank. And obviously we've cut the dash to allow for the Pioneer. Oh, excuse me. And then, There's our Pioneer. And there's our reverse camera. There we go. So we just need to solder a cable, screw this floating dash back in, do something with the cabling behind it. Put the lower parts of the dash back together. Um, and this one's done. But that's where we are now. Full on Volvo dash cut. Like it. It's in a bit. All these people claim something. But I think the job that I've done on this car, I'm like, I'm like Techno Viking. But I'm like the Volvo dash cut Viking. Volvo is done. Very happy with it. So we've got our little panel down there. Obviously that reads the information that was on the radio. So if I just jump in it. So radio's closed at the minute. And then key in. Start that bad boy up. Out he pops. There's our display. So obviously if we're messing around with the fans or anything like that, it all comes up on there. <laughs> There's our stereo. There's our camera with reverse lines. So I've just did some reverse lines on there for her. So we've got microphone up here, digital aerial over there. Uzba in the glove box. This one, Captain, is done. Obviously all of this can be put back with that. This, no, nah, not really. 
she'll have to buy a new fascia but the radio will still go in and everything else is norm norm this does not work uh, this version has the amp over there obviously which we've bypassed um, and it doesn't have the steering controls for it the steering controls are the v50 of the bigger plug this one has the little one because it's amplified but there we go one radio in a car that's not supposed to have a radio like this in it job done bye bye Don't know about you, Batman, but that's posh. <laughs>
of emails to go through and messages. Got my book ready for tomorrow, all the answer phone messages. Tomorrow we've got Mercedes in for a front and rear dash camera, um, which should be a little bit more relaxed than, yeah, today's been. Today's been very full on, but for all the right reasons, not for the wrong reasons. Um, dash cuts are very, very involved. Um, and I'm becoming a bit of a, bit of a Jedi master with the old uh, Volvo, I must say. Helps owning one, because you're kind of then not scared to trash your own car when you cut it up. Taking the donuts home for the girls. We turn off my fly zapper. Right, that's it. Snap on Tuesday's done. Um, we've gone up again on subscribers. Um, I think the last time I looked, we were at 2138. So congratulations. Thank you very much, everyone. Well done. Um, Nigel's been the first to donate on the thanks button. What a legend. Well done, Nigel. Um, and I will see you lot bright and early in the morning for a little chat in the van. Take care. Adios.